Open your workbooks to page 10 and you're going to follow along writing in your workbook what I'm writing here. So today we're going to learn the greatest common factor and the least common multiple. So I'm going to zoom in. So for number one, we want to find the greatest common factor. Use this word factor to help you think of a factor tree, which we're going to use to help us find the greatest common factor. So I'm gonna make a factor tree of eight and 32. So what a factor tree is, is we just break up the number by its factors until we get all prime numbers. So for example, eight could be broken up into four times two. Two is prime, so I'm gonna circle that. Four is not prime, so we have to keep going. Four can be broken up as two times two. Then I'm gonna bring down this two just so everything's at the bottom. So now that's all prime numbers, so eight is done. Now we're gonna break up 32. You can do it with any number. So I'm gonna do eight times four. Eight can be broken up as four times two. This is prime. Four still has to be broken up as two times two. I'm gonna bring down that two. And I also have to break up my four, two times two. And those are both prime. So I'm just gonna bring them down. So this is the prime factorization of eight and 32. So now we're gonna circle all of the common prime factors. So they each have a two, they each have a second two in common, and they each have a third two in common. The 32 has two more twos, but the eight doesn't. So those last twos are not in common. So what we're gonna do is multiply the common factors by each other, but we're gonna use each common factor only once. So they each have three twos in common. So that would be two times two times two. This is what they have in common. So then we're gonna multiply that. Two times two is four, bring this down. Four times two is eight. So eight is the greatest common factor between both of these numbers. This is the biggest number that can go into both of them. Example three, we want to find the greatest common factor of 3, 12, and 18. So again, I'm going to use a factor tree. So we have 3, 12, and 18. So 3 can only be broken up by itself. 12 can be broken up as I'm going to do 4 times 3. 3 is prime. 4 still needs to be broken up, so that's 2 times 2. Then I'm gonna bring down my three. 18, I'm gonna break up as six times three. Six could still be broken up as three times two, and I'm gonna bring down this three. So now I have to see what they all have in common. They all have in common one, three. And although 12 and 18 also have a two in common, that's not in common with the three. So we can't use any other numbers, but the ones that they all have in common, and these all have in common one, three. So that one, three is our greatest common factor between these three numbers. So now we're gonna do least common multiple. For least common multiple, to help you remember, you could think of the letter L. We're gonna use the letter L. So what we're gonna do is take the numbers and I'm gonna make an L around them. What I'm gonna put on the outside is any number that goes into both of these. So I'm gonna say three, because I know three goes into these. Then here, I'm gonna put the amount of times that number goes into the numbers in the L. So three goes into six twice, three goes into 15 five times. Now if these could be broken down more, if these had another number in common that goes into both of them, I could create another L and do another number that goes into both of them, but those don't have any other numbers in common. So what we do is multiply all the numbers in the shape of the L to get our least common multiple. So three times two times five. Three times two is six. 
six times five is 30. So 30 is the least common multiple of six and 15 because that's the lowest number that six and 15 both go into. Example seven, the movie house gives away a $5 coupon for every four movies purchased. They give away a bag of popcorn for every three movies purchased. How many movies would you have to purchase in all before receiving both a $5 coupon and a bag of popcorn at the same purchase? So we want to find when every four movies and every three movies would meet up. So we want to find the least common multiple. So least common multiple, remember I'm going to use that letter L. So I have four, every four movies and every three movies. So on the outside, I put a number that goes into both of these numbers. Now there's no number that goes into both four and three except for one. So I'm just gonna do one. One goes into four, four times. One goes into three, three times. And then we can't go anymore. So now we just multiply all the numbers outside in the shape of the L. So we have one times four times three. That gives us four times three, which is 12. So the movie house, you'd have to go to 12 movies to receive both the $5 coupon and the bag of popcorn in the same purchase. 12 is the least common multiple of four and three.